Hey, what's up? John Shred here. And today I'm replacing the, uh, the thermal pads in this EVGA for the, for the Win 3 3080 Ti. Now, this is the third time I've attempted to record this video because I've picked the wrong thickness pads. So hopefully this one, I've made the right choice. Welcome back. This is your first time on the channel. Uh, I like to talk new technologies, kind of review things. Anytime I'm taking something apart or doing a new build, I record it and I share it with you and kind of my, my thoughts and processes as I go. So, uh, you may be asking why I'm replacing the thermal pads in this card. Uh, I bought it used uh, off a friend who was using it in a water cooling build. Uh, when you put it back together, may not have done the best job. And what was happening was the VRAM temps were going through the roof as soon as I started to play a game. So I looked online and it says uh, with the documentation, uh, kind of this, this kind of paper here, it has some, some specs. Um, it shows some of the different kind of the spots where the, where the VRAM uh, is. And it says you need pads of 2.25 millimeters. And a couple of the spots along the sides, uh, you need 2.75 millimeters. Now, what I saw on, on the forums uh, is that people were saying, okay, you can use 2.5 and three. So I went ahead, purchased some 2.5 uh, millimeter thermal pads, put those on, borrowed some three millimeter, thank you, Scotty. Um, put it all together. Uh, that was a recording number one. Hey, what's up? John Shred here and, and um, toss my machine. Right away, VRAM temps were incredible. I was seeing, uh, you know, where they went to 100 and 110 degrees Celsius and just, just throttled, the card throttled itself. Um, the temps were sitting between like 60 and 70 degrees Celsius, which is, which is primo. The problem was the GPU temps were spiking up to like 85, 90 degrees Celsius, and I hardly even started playing a game. So, I was like, oh no, what went wrong? What happened? I actually took the card apart and recording number two. Okay, good morning. Uh, it's, the, it's the next day. To figure out, okay, did I do something wrong? I checked all the thermal pads, everything was in properly. Uh, the thermal paste the, that I put on for the GPU, it, it was there. I could actually tell that it wasn't seating properly because it wasn't, it wasn't pressing all the way down. Um, so then I was going, okay, well, well why? Now, you don't really know how this works uh, with the GPU. It's kind of a big sandwich, okay? Along the side here is, is the actual PCB. Uh, the actual you know, GPU is, is on this, this board. And then this whole section here is a really large heat sink with, with some fans. Now how the heat sink works is it presses against the key components. Here is a, a pretty good picture of what the PCB would look like when we open it up. And we have the actual GPU here, uh, you can see the VRAM is all around here. There's some capacitors uh, and they all need to be cooled. Now, when the manufacturer puts it and slaps it all together, sometimes uh, the heatsink itself, the big large chunk of metal, doesn't always touch perfectly. And so what they do is they put in thermal pads. Thermal pads act uh, as a heat conductor and, and, and pass the, the heat from the, the GPU or the, or the RAM through the pads to the heat sink, which then disperses the heat and it goes away. So if for whatever reason, you don't have that proper contact, uh, it does not work. So what happened was when I replaced the pads, I put them, they were too thick. I went up instead of down. Uh, by the way, you cannot get 2.25 millimeters and 2.75 millimeters, I checked. Um, so because I went bigger, uh, the VRAM was, was properly touching. Uh, but the GPU itself wasn't able to touch the heatsink, therefore it was overheating. So the goal today is to take this apart again, uh, take the 2.5 millimeter pieces, put them where the three millimeter ones were, and then replace the 2.5 with two millimeters uh, where the VRAM is. Uh, my goal is hopefully that will allow it to sandwich a little better, uh, close it up, and then hopefully it will work. So, okay, let's uh, let's take this card apart. Um, it's nothing crazy to take apart. There are a few screws here and there. First thing first is to take off the back plate. 
some of the screws have, have a nut on the back. The ones, you can, you can pretty much tell, the ones that are in the corners have, uh, have a nut on, on the back. Okay, that's it for the back plate. Back plate, just a just a piece of metal, nothing, nothing fancy. It really just protects uh, the back of the PCB. Okay, next step is to take the four screws out of the actual um, assembly that holds the GPU in place. Go in in a circle, a little bit by a little bit. What this does, it slowly releases the tension, uh, so it doesn't. Kind of keeps it all together in one in one even pattern. Same idea when you put it back together. It's the same as you put a CPU heat sink on. It's the same. You kind of just take it off and put it on all in uh, kind of, yeah, that one just popped in a few turns at a time and then, and then it'll come out. Okay. This guy. Yes, sir. Okay. The, uh, Actual card should be free from. Am I forgetting any here? No? Okay, cool. Sometimes it's just stuck on there really well. I just need to give it a good. There we go. Okay, there will be some cables. As you can see right here, there's three on the side here. And did I just lose a pad? All good. So I want to take out these cables, just disconnect them. They kind of just pull off. Just squeeze the top and pull. Nothing crazy. Great. And the last one is this fourth one right here. All right. That is it. Here is an example of what I mean by the um, this, the GPU paste, yeah, there's a hole in the middle there. There's actually coverage for it. Um, I may need to reapply. I've taken this on and off quite a few times now. Um, ideally, you put it on once and leave it and replace it after each, each go. Okay, so here, just to point out what I have done, um, there's a part on both sides here, but uh, this is the, two and a half mil that I put on the VRAM pieces. Um, the three mil were actually for these tiny little chips all along the side here. I actually don't know what they are. If you know what they are, please leave a comment below. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna replace all those with uh, two and a half mil. That reused all of the uh, the 2.5 millimeter, so I'm, I'm good there. Um, now let's get some two millimeter. Okay. This is looking pretty.
pretty good. The two millimeter. Okay. Last but not least, the 1.5 millimeter. Now I'm going to reapply. Hmm. I'm going to add some more. Thermal compound, just because I'm a bit worried of compromises stuff there. There looks okay, but I'm just gonna add a tiny little bit more. good time to put it back together so uh, pretty much it's pressing the sandwich back um oh i just forgot to take off these thermal pads With it together, I'm gonna to take a peek and see. So what I can tell right now is that the three mils that I took out need to go back in. Bah. Okay, not sure where, where I lost you, the, the camera uh, cut out for a second, but when I put it back together, the what I noticed is the three millimeter pads uh, here and here uh, that I took out and put 2.5 millimeter in, uh, when I sandwiched it back together, it definitely wasn't touching. So I put the three millimeter back in. Um, so to be clear, I have three millimeter here over these pieces here are one and a half and two over the VRAM. So let's. Throw her back together. Okay, put some pressure on it. Let's see how it looks. Much better. Everything is touching. As far as I can tell, everything is touching really well. Okay. Good. Let's put the 
few screws back in. It's a bit tricky when you put this back in. You really have to push hard so it catches some of the threads. Uh, but same idea, put in a, a couple turns. One, two, three. Push hard. One, two, three. Don't forget to put the back on first. I did that the first time. Okay, back together. Um, it, is, it is time for you to uh, go downstairs, toss it in the machine, and, uh, and see what, uh, what kind of temps up you get. So I'll be right back and I'll let you know how it went. All right, I'm back. And it was an absolute success. So just to give you an idea, uh, when I put it back together the first and second time, um, the original VRAM temps were 110. When I put it back together, uh, the temps were great but the GPU temps went up to like 87 degrees Celsius. Now, everything I read in the line says that it should max out average around 77, 78 degrees Celsius. So now that we just put that all back together, checked it out, VRAM temps are still looking great. And I just tried it out and uh, just tried Space Punks. I'll show some footage here and it maxed out around 77 degrees Celsius, which is perfect. That's exactly what this car should be. So all in all, this is a success. It took three different attempts. Hey, a few more thermal pads than I anticipated. Uh, but just to go over this one last time, the pads here, I use two millimeters around the VRAM temps, uh, around the VRAM. Uh, here on the side is three, on these tiny little thin ones, three millimeters. And then along this piece here, the, the kind of larger piece that isn't indicated, in this in this uh, in this diagram are 1.5 millimeters, and they all work very well. So I consider that a success. Yay! Um, hopefully this video helped you. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like watching this kind of content, and uh, stay tuned for more. Thanks.